Welcome to another episode of Horror Movie Cocktails with Ann Gore. I'm Ann Gore, and as normal, I'm joined by the guy voted most likely to end up in a dumpster in his yearbook, Frankie. Oh, like I went to school. Clearly. Today we're going to make a cocktail in lollipop cookies based on the Halloween classic, Trick or Treat. That's a great movie. Halloween is my favorite time of year. Why is that? Is it because it's the only time of year you can go outside without children running away and screaming in terror? Maybe. Anyways, let's make Sam's lollipop cookies. You'll need these ingredients. A gram of activated edible safe cannabis. This part is optional. Two sticks of softened butter. Three cups of sifted flour. Half a teaspoon of salt. One cup of sugar. One egg. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. And a half a teaspoon of orange or lemon extract. You'll also need a stand-up mixer, a round cookie cutter, a rolling pin, parchment paper, a cookie sheet, cookie pop sticks, and orange and black paper straws. First, let's make the can of butter. This step is optional. If you don't want cannabis, just use a normal stick of butter. First, grab a small saucepan. Melt the stick of butter over low heat until butter has melted. Then add your gram of cannabis oil. Stir together until well mixed. Put in a heat safe container and put into the fridge until slightly hardened. If you leave it in too long, you'll have to set it out and soften it again. Next, let's make the cookies. Grab a large mixing bowl and sift the flour and salt and set aside. Grab your stand-up mixer and cream the butter and sugar for five minutes or until fluffy and pale. Beat in the egg, then slowly add the flour. Then add your flavoring extract of choice. Mix until it forms a dough. Place on the floured counter or parchment paper and roll the dough out so it's about one fourth inch thick throughout. If you have troubles with this, you can use 1 4 inch thick wooden dowels on either side to help guide you in rolling. After it's rolled out, put it back into the fridge on your cookie sheet for another 15 minutes. This makes sure the dough is stiff enough to work with. Remove the dough and use your cookie cutter to cut out some cookies. Take your cookie pop sticks and put the orange and black paper straw over it. Gently shove it into the cookie. Carefully flip over. You might need to patch up a little bit of the cookie. If you do, take a little bit of the cookie dough and even it out. If you want to make some of your cookies look like the lollipop with a bite taken out of it from the movie, just take a butter knife and cut out some bite marks. You know, someone tried to give me bite marks once. Here I am, lost in the woods on my way to Grandma's house. Whatever shall I do? I hope, I hope nobody comes and bites me. Mm-hmm. I said, I hope nobody comes and bites me. <sighs> Look, I'm fine with whatever sexual fetish you're into, but I am not okay with biting you. Uh, no offense, but you just look like you, uh, have something. Like herpes. No one loves me! <sighs> Preheat the oven to 325 degrees and place your cookies on the cookie sheet. Place the cookies into the freezer for 15 minutes. After the time has passed, take the cookies out of the freezer and put them into the oven for 12 to 14 minutes or until the edges are golden brown. While you let the cookies cool, let's make the frosting. For this, you'll need the following. Three cups of powdered sugar, three teaspoons of water, three teaspoons of orange juice, 
This is optional. You can also just use three more teaspoons of water. Six teaspoons of corn syrup, one teaspoon of vanilla, black food coloring, and orange or red and yellow food coloring. You'll also need two squeeze bottles, like a condiment squeeze bottle, and two bowls or plates. Combine ingredients until it reaches a smooth consistency. You don't want it too thick or too thin for this recipe. Put a little less than a third of the frosting into the bowl and the rest into another bowl. Add a few drops of black food coloring to the smaller bowl of frosting. Then add more than a few drops of the orange food coloring to the bigger bowl. Transfer the frosting to the squeeze bottles. Once the cookies have finished and have had time to cool, outline each cookie with the orange frosting. Let that sit for a while until it sets up a bit. This is to keep the rest of the frosting mostly in place so we don't make a mess. Then cover the rest of the cookie with the orange frosting and smooth it out. You may have to smooth it out a bit with your finger or a knife. Let that sit for a bit to harden up. Then grab your black frosting squeeze bottle for adding details to your jack-o'-lantern style cookie. If you want, you can purchase a pre-made gel style frosting, which holds its shape just a little bit better. That way your details look a little nicer. Let the frosting set up for a bit and your cookies are done. These cookies are freaking delicious. And I mean that. Absolutely delicious. I can eat all the cookies. All of them. All the cookies. All of them. Did you get into the powdered sugar again? No. Frankie? Huh. I thought I cleaned up better this time. Oh well. I guess I'm just the worst. What the fuck? What are you doing? Anyways, let's move on to the cocktail. You'll need the following. Orange juice, whipped cream vodka, sugar, black food coloring, orange or red and yellow food coloring, this is optional, and vanilla. You'll also need two glasses, a shaker, a jigger or a shot glass for measuring, two shallow bowls or plates, and orange and black straws, which are optional. First, let's make some black sugar for rimming our glass with. Careful, that was a few letters away from being pornographic. Get out of here, Frankie, I don't need your help. Anyways, place half a cup of sugar into a Ziploc bag, add a couple drops of food coloring, and close up the bag and shake it up to mix together. Then place the sugar on a plate and put a little corn syrup on the other plate. Dip the edge of the glass into the corn syrup and then into the sugar to rim the fuck out of your glass. You're just saying it that way on purpose now. Frankie out! Grab your shaker and fill it with ice. Add three ounces of your vodka, nine ounces of orange juice, a splash of vanilla, and a few drops of orange food coloring. Then shake it up. Strain it into your nicely rimmed glasses. Don't those rimmed glasses look nice? Uh. <laughs> then top it off with seltzer water and add your optional straws. And that's all there is to it. So Frankie, have you licked all the rim of your glass yet? No, no. Then why is all the sugar gone? <laughs> well, I snorted it. I can't believe uh, you didn't see that one coming. So moving on to the hard stuff now, huh? I, I don't need this lip from you. The flying moon go mo mo mongooses are my friends. All the friends I need. Mongooses? Mon... Mon geese? Yes, the mon geese are my friends, you foul demon. Alright, so anyways, thanks for watching the episode. And maybe you can make the cookies and cocktail for our Trick or Treats Halloween special coming soon. You ready to lay down now? 
Oh, oh my god! <laughs> yes, please! <sighs> what am I gonna do with you?